Hello and welcome to Praise the Sunday. My name is Toby and I am from the Kilobits. And uh, this week we are in the Shaded Ruins, which is a disturbing yet beautiful place filled with cursed jars and basilisks and lions that can curse you. All in all, it's, uh, it's a pretty cursy place. Anyway, look at that giant basilisk. It's uh, anyone that's played Dark Souls 1's is worst like, <laughs> nightmare. Okay, there's a lion warrior coming. Oh, there's another one. Okay, and I missed. <laughs> Brilliant. Oh, bloody hell. Everything about these guys is a little bit severe. And I don't have enough souls to grab the ring that will allow me to summon Scorpion Tark. Oh. I hate enemies that take a long time to kill because they have a lot of health. Like, I like enemies that take a long time to kill because, you know, their movesets are complex, but just adding numbers to the, uh, <laughs> to the HP gauge of an enemy isn't a difficulty. That's just, uh, that's artificial difficulty. Now, the difference between those two, uh, <laughs> ideals is in difficulty and artificial difficulty. Uh, can be described a lot better by people smarter than me. <laughs> There's, uh, the, the idea of between, oh shit, behind actual difficulty is that it's based upon your failure to perform tasks which you're fully competent uh, at performing, whereas artificial difficulty, you know, attacks you by surprise and gives you no chance to uh, react. The only way to really make it through is by trial and error. For example, uh, at this point I'm now learning that <laughs> fighting these lion dudes is kind of pointless because I can probably just run past them. And indeed, I almost definitely will. Okay, backstab's work for a nice, uh, <laughs> nice break. Okay, there's two dead lion dudes. There's actually a lot of secrets here, and once you, uh, sort of get your head around murdering these guys, it's it's not so bad. I don't think that that giant basilisk uh, respawns either, unlike the one in, uh... Bugger, I can't remember what it's called, but there's, there's another one that's in a cage later. Okay, well, we need that chest because uh, we are curious. I actually can't remember what's in here. There's a lot about this game that I can't remember, probably because I haven't been through it quite as much as- Ooh, that's all really good! Ooh, that'll allow me to upgrade rare weapons and normal weapons. In fact, I think I can probably upgrade the Hide Knight Sword, which gives me an excuse to go back to Majula before uh, tackling Nadja. Okay, so uh, I'm just going to let that guy reset while I take on his pal here. Ooh, overkill. Lovely. We've got one Estus left. Returning to Majula is a definite good idea. No, we don't. No, it's not a thing that I'm going to allow. Ooh, buggery. Yeah, you can fuck off and all. Come on, puff up. Good boy. I know it's unusual to want him to do his uh, curse attack, but it's actually the one that sort of... Well, it puts him in a uh, direction and means that he doesn't do these melee strikes. Which, while slow, can be kind of devastating. <laughs> oh, I like that he shakes his ass, though. It's, uh, it's an attractive enemy right there. Okay, just a little bit more. And there we go, one dead basilisk. He's dropped another petrified dragon bone. Crikey, if only we had some boss weapons. Look how my guy's kind of tired out. Oh, for fuck's sake, these curse jars. You'll notice that uh, I'm more irritated than put off by these curse jars, and that's because they're not actually that dangerous. I mean, don't get me wrong, you know, curse in this game has the same effect as dying, and uh, even rings of protection can't... Uh, can't stop that. Okay, I'm just gonna circle around and cheat this chap out because, because fuck him, basically. I should point out that we're probably only going to scratch the surface of this area because uh, I hate it. 
but uh, there's actually quite a lot going on. Uh, one of the three areas that you have to trigger the old man to join the Covenant of the Abyss is uh, here. Um, there's a man scorpion. <laughs> Ooh, Ferris is Lockstone. I'm astonished by uh, the fact that I haven't found a human effigy in forever, actually. This is uh, a pit. <laughs> oh, for f No, stop. Two hand and slippery slash. Okay, that's not so bad. I feel like I should summon Man Scorpion Tark because he is a pretty uh, unique looking guy. In fact, yeah, I'll just have to make sure that I have enough souls before I go there. Which largely involves. Ooh, ooh, buggery! Ooh, 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 ow, 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 ow. Just being cursed isn't such a huge thing in this game. In fact, it's about to happen again. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay, I'm not going to use any of my my fragrant branches of yore to, <laughs> to unfreeze enemies right now. Oh, it's not this one, you can go up, it's the other one. No, please don't curse me again. You're very tiresome. Okay, so atop here, if I remember rightly, is, well... Not nothing, <laughs> which is the important thing. And it was indeed not nothing. I mean, it was less than something, but it definitely wasn't nothing. I really want that, whatever it is. But I know that this is a... Oh, you're so irritating, cursed jars. You know what? Fuck it. Let's go. It's only these guys, after all. And, I don't know, I mean... Oh, shit, petrification, petrification, petrification. That's different to curse now. Ah, lovely. Upgrade items. Which does actually make sense, given that uh, through here is the blacksmith Ornifex, who's one of the servants of Velka from the previous game. Looks like someone hasn't had quite so much luck with those guys. Uh, by talking to Ornifex... You can uh, make boss weapons. <laughs> and that's what she's for. She uh, isn't actually usable here, though. She goes home to Brightstone Cove, which is where we're headed. Also, if you look up here, that's uh, that's the dude from the Abyss Covenant. Anyway, let's head on back to Majula. And then we're just going to go and get Tark. <laughs> and then get the fuck out of Dodge. Might also buy a human effigy, because uh, doing this bit hollow is... Kinda painful. <laughs> Look at this bastard. I think the unfreezing this guy gives you the key to Ornifex's room. Mm, no, bugger it. <sighs> I know it does. I know it does. Yes. Of course, now I have to kill him, but it's beside the point. I wish that I could talk to this guy. I bet he'd have stories. <laughs> anyway, uh, the DLC is so close to here. Like, I can actually fucking taste it at this point. Oh, yep, yeah, there it is, the fan key. <sighs> Let's go free on effects before we respawn all the enemies, yeah? Um, so, the Crown of the Sunken King is the first one, and I got an email through today, which uh, actually you know, had some stuff to do with it in. It was pretty exciting. Um, <laughs> I'm really fucking hyped for it, because all of the stuff that they have shown looks really cool, and uh, there's been a couple of new gestures found in the last couple of days, which have... Uh, oh, there she is! Worth it for the Esther shot flask crowd anyway. Thank you. Thank you for helping me. I'm on effects. You at some form of thanks, but I have nothing to offer you at the moment. Okay, wonderful. Her abode just down the way. So now we just run this tiny gauntlet again. Little jump. Back through the window. Anyway, where was I? Oh yes, DLC. Anyway, uh I am fully hyped because of all of the new content that's being unleashed, and the area looks kind of like a water-themed Lost Isolith, which... It... It sounds like the polar opposite of Lost Isolith. <laughs> Lost Isolith. So... 
Let's face it, I was always going to be aboard the hype train. Choo-choo! Anyway, here we are back in Majula. So, first things first, because we've got an Esther Shard. Why is that so difficult to say? An Estus Flask Shard. Because we've got an Estus Flask Shard, we can now upgrade our Estus Flask. And also, thank you to uh, the commenter who pointed out that I hadn't been burning my Sublime Bone Dust. I'm going to do that right now before I forget. Okay, we can actually upgrade our Estus Flask twice. Beautiful. Some force has strengthened the Estus Flask. And come on. A little quicker, if you wouldn't mind. There we go. So, now we just need to go over to the house where the cat lives, and uh, we'll buy that ring. Even if we don't have enough souls, we should have enough saved up in the- Whoa, yeah, we've got more than enough. We can also probably upgrade old Stacy, Which was kind of a combination between Slicey and Stacy. Stacy, Yeah, that's the name of the sword now. Parmesan Knight with the Sword of Stacy. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh, okay. Thank you for pretending to forget me. That's, that's great. It's the Ring of Whispers that I need. Wow, it's actually cheaper than I thought it would be. <sighs> this is a really useful item, and... Well, Satisfied. that's about it. <laughs> I'm surprised that I haven't found a Ring of Life Protection yet. I mean, they are not rare, <laughs> and they are very useful. Okay, so first things first, we'll equip that Ring of Risp. <sighs> I'm having trouble talking today. Haven't got Malinchi yet, which means that we're going on a bear hunt. We're not scared. <sighs> okay, so there she is, and she will hopefully sell a human effigy. Yes, she's got tons of them. Which means that we can buy two for now. Oh, bollocks actually. Let's just let's just refill on those <laughs> while uh, while we still can. Let's use both of these, because fuck it, we're probably not gonna die. Wow! <laughs> that was worth more than I thought it'd be. Okay. Well you can keep the one, and if we scrub through her dialogue, she'll move back to Majula, so we'll always have a <laughs> human effigy in the bank. There we go. Brilliant. We're through. <laughs> Fuck. This is going to be uh, pretty hardcore, I'm expecting. The Shaded Woods are actually a pretty big area. I mean, like, when you consider that... Uh, let's... Let's put this back on. Was that what we were using? Yeah, it definitely was. Yeah, okay. Oh, first thing. Wow, okay, we've got a lot of energies now. It's a good feeling. And we are no longer a zombie. This is great. Ah. <sighs> so yeah, as I was saying, the Shed Woods is actually a pretty huge area when you consider that it's stretched all the way from Majula to here. And we've not seen a boss or an area transition. I mean, this area is called the Shaded Ruins, but the teleport points in the Shaded Woods, so I count it as there. Fuck, if we get cursed even once, we won't be able to summon. <laughs> Moral of the story, don't get cursed. Okay, so let's do this <laughs> coward style. Opa coward style. Wow, that is a, a joke relying on old memes. Flame butterfly and a torch. Lovely. Worth it. 10 out of 10. Ah, bollocks, I thought I could parry that. Okay, we're just going to do the old... Fuck. The old fuck. <laughs> I'm gonna smash this pot. Roll down here. Take a wee sippy. Smash through these barrels. Take the item. Continue to run this gantlet. Holy shit. All this curse. Hide. And here we are! There's Man Scorpion Tark. Fucking hell. That was stressful. That was legitimately stressful. Anyway, now that I've got the name engraved ring, or the... <laughs> ring of Beasts, whatever it was, I can talk to this chap. 
Now, a little bit of lore, people think that this is Tarkas, who was mutated by Seath, after Seath found his body on the cathedral, and I like that. Yeah, okay. Oh, shit, yeah. Ring back on. Ring of Whispers. Yes, we are human. Are you not? No, sorry, not afraid of you. We'll kill him once we've uh, killed his wife. Because we're, uh... <laughs> We're great. Anyway, yeah, look, he's actually talking about Seath. Eventually, drove himself mad. Shit. I do like that uh, there's a little bit of intertextuality between the two games. <laughs> wow, I just used the word intertextuality in something not an essay. Can you tell that I'm uh, coming up to the end of my deadlines? Yeah. <laughs> Fuck, this is exciting. So, uh, Tark here has been, uh, having an old domestic. <laughs> Shit. My name was Tark, that's all I can remember. Yep, you're definitely Tarkus. Confirmed. But yeah, he's in a domestic with his scorpion wife, and we're gonna go and kill her. With his help. Basically, she's Quaylag Mark II. And I forgot to upgrade my sword, didn't I? Oh, do come on. There we go. Shit, do I want to just nip back to Majula quickly or shall I save it? Nope, gonna save it. Don't want to ruin the uh, the flow of the episode. What I am gonna do though is uh, use a Homeward Bone so that all of the enemies reset back to their positions, because if I'm gonna do a run through, well, then I really don't want all of those cool cats to be uh, in murder position. Okay, so we can run through this, and we will run through this. Fucking hell. <laughs> it's time. I'm really fucking nervous, actually. Like, this boss has a lot of health, and I'm kind of underleveled, I think. I mean, like, Dark Souls 2 is designed so that you can do any of the first four bits <laughs> in any order you like and then the end of the game in a linear fashion, sort of in a direct polar opposite to what Dark Souls 1 was, where, you know, you go grab the Lord Vessel and then the game opened up. It starts very open and then becomes quite linear. Shitting hell, this is the only sign that's here. <laughs> this is why I wanted to uh, go get him. This is why I've uh, wasted your time and mine. <laughs> because holy shit, look at him, he's a tank. God, he's beautiful. Whoa, tucky baby. You want to calm down that champ? That's actually quite an interesting indicator of uh, how much health these guys have. Like, the <laughs> the summon for the boss can't kill them in one hit. You know, I should be I should be kind of comfortably fighting those guys. Anyway, boss time. <laughs> Shit. Try not to get nervous. Remember, I killed this girl first time. The first time uh, I saw her. And ever since then, on every single subsequent run, I've had trouble. Also, I'm doing this without audio. You know, as per usual, that is my primary complaint. I don't know what you're thinking. Just get fucking headphones. What's your issue? My issue is that I'm stupid. <laughs> I can't afford headphones. So I'm stupid and poor, which, uh, you know, traditionally go together, it seems. Ooh, classism. Bloody hell. Oh, shit! Just realised I'm not wearing the correct ring. Okay, hold out, Tark. I just need to be able to roll faster. <laughs> Putting on the equivalent of Havels during a fight. Okay, Estus, Estus, Estus. Oh, 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 shit me, shit me. Ow, fuck, 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 fuck. Get away! Oh, that sucks. That sucks a lot. Okay, I don't have anything to cure the toxic, so we're gonna chow down on Elizabeth's mushroom. Fuck, I did, I had three divine blessings. But Elizabeth's mushroom should just about even out the damage being done. Ooh, careful, Tark. Fuck, I just realized that I've wasted Elizabeth's mushroom. Bloody hell, let me hit you, please. Wow, I really haven't wasted it. Okay, we got the we got it down to half health. <sighs> Fuck, this is tense. 
Tuck, I, I believe in you. Wow, Elizabeth Mushroom lasts for ages. I'm still HP in. No, you don't, Najka. Okay, just a little more. And fully Esther up because oh shit, she's dived. It's like submarine combat. Fucking steel diver up in this bitch. Not bitches and she's a bitch. That would be a gendered insult and therefore wrong. Bitches in uh, his house or uh, Domus. Okay, no, you don't. No, you don't. Come on, little more, little more. Oh, and she's gone. She's down. She's dead. Thank you very much, Tark. Ah, oh, you're my actual hero. <laughs> yeah, little little scorpion hug, buddy. Anyway, I really hope that you've enjoyed this episode. God knows I have, because now that scorpion bitch is dead. Now, that was a gendered insult, and that was wrong. Ah, anyway, I've been Toby from the Killabits. If you like this video, please don't hesitate to hit those like and subscribe buttons. You're not an invisible wall. Don't, don't do that. And uh, you can also find us on uh, Twitter, twitter.com forward slash the kilobits, and on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash the kilobits. <laughs> Bye, guys. <laughs>